Good morning everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. This is the Renault Twingo Electric. It has a 21 kilowatt hour usable energy battery, only charges with AC type 2, 22 kilowatt, has a WLTP range of 190 kilometers, but you know, realistically it's 150 and now it's cold, 33 degrees, it should get warmer later, but I need the heat so it's even less. And this is clearly <laughs> a city car. You drive to work, drive home, charge, sorry, it's busy, highway, road. Um, and you should not do long distance driving with this car. I mean, even, even how the car is comfortable and what gadgets it has and features, it doesn't have adaptive cruise control, just normal cruise control. It's not meant to be driven for for a, a long distance, but today I want to do that because some people can only afford one car, 90% they only drive it to work and then sometimes they want to take a long trip and want to see how that is. So I will drive past Nuremberg from here, I'm right here on the highway, the car is at 90%, drive to uh, behind Nuremberg 250 kilometers and back, so 500 kilometers, I'm not going to do a thousand kilometers. I'm not crazy, <laughs> maybe I am. Um, and then we'll see how it is. How does charging work? How long will it take? Um, how are the seats and everything? Is it okay to do that? We'll see, let's go. I'm on my way! Look at that! I'm driving at 90 kilometers an hour, which is GPS speed 94, because I calculated back in the day with the Renault Zoe that at 90 kilometers an hour is the perfect speed for long distance driving. I'm driving an Eco, car says I have 164 kilometers, 165, look at that, range, I'm at 84%, I have the heat on 24 degrees, it was a bit cold in here, maybe I'll turn it back down, we'll see. Um, yes, cruise control is on, it's loud in here, at 90 kilometers an hour, but we just go, have the live stream going, nice and cozy. I arrived at the first charger in Regensburg. Um, it's a triple charger from Allego, charging with my EMBW card. It's the cheapest for AC, it's 29 cents per kilowatt hours. I know it's expensive in other countries, but here in Germany, that's the cheapest I can do for public charging. And I arrived with 29%, so I used 70% for 90 kilometers. Uh, I drove the 94 kilometers an hour, the GPS speed 90 kilometers the whole time, and it's Pretty good on time, 62 minutes for 90 kilometers. Um, average consumption was 146. I can't show you right now because when the car is charging, you can't see the stats. <laughs> so uh, the next charger will be Neumarkt. So where I usually charge with my ID3 at Ionity, there's a triple charger there. Um, and I will leave with, again, I always do that. It's nice to have a buffer, so 40 kilometers more. So it would charge to 110 kilometers of range and then go. Yeah, so that is weird. Before I couldn't see any stats and up here I could see that power is going into the battery. There was an animation and this is now gone, but it's still charging. I can hear the charger making noise, the range is going up, the percentage is going up and now I can see all the stats. When I turned on the car before to see the stats, the charging stopped. But now I can see it, it's 143 watt hours per kilometer. We drove 90 kilometers, which my average speed 82.8, which is not true because it took us 62 minutes to drive 
those 90 kilometers. <laughs> so this is totally not correct. But you can see the range is going up and I will leave now. We have enough range, we go. I just left the charger. I charged to 65%. It took uh, 26 minutes. We charged 8.4 kilowatt hours. I can see it in the app. Um, that means we have an average charging speed of 19.4 kilowatt. Um, I have 55 kilometers to go. I can see it on Android Auto Google Maps. Going to Neumarkt and I have 95 kilometers of range. Already a 54% average consumption is 140. Where am I? No, it's the wrong one. Here we are, 147. I'm at the next charger, another Allego 50 kilowatt. Uh, well, it's a triple charger, but it can do AC 43, but I can only use 22. I won't be even that fast. I arrived with 19%, I think 40, 35 kilometers of range. We'll uh, go now 60 kilometers to the next charger. It was the best because it's very close to the highway. And then I don't know, maybe I do, I see how far I have to go to do 250. So 30 in one direction, 30 back, I estimate. And so I charge 200 kilometers of range and then go. What I noticed, you cannot use uh, AC or heat uh, with this car unless you're at 40% state of charge. You cannot, I cannot even see the, the trip meter and everything. This all appears when you are at 40%. Um, yes, live stream is going, it's fun. It's nice weather, it's getting warm. I don't need the heat anymore, I think but we're going soon. Oh, and I never showed you the tires. Uh, it's winter tires, but big tires, 185, 50R16. And in the back, it's even 205, 45R16. Huge. Yeah, charging works. You cannot see, even when I, uh, uh, when you see the stuff, you can only see the time, not the kilowatt hours charged. And so amazing what they did here. They want me to charge. Why did they put this rock here? So <laughs> nobody can stand here and, and charge. I had to park amazingly crooked. Why? That's our next trip to the next charger, 60 kilometers. I'm at 51%, 91 kilometers of range. I will charge to 100. And by the way, oop, it's way too bright. There are the Ionity chargers where I usually charge. But I can't do that right now, <laughs> can I? Oh, the live stream is watching me, filming you. <laughs> Eight kilometers more, then we go. Yeah, and it's a weird thing. I just unlocked, so I went to pee and came back and unlocked the car and charging stopped. And when I, I, I cannot use the heat right now and, and I didn't, couldn't even open the window, had to open the door because uh, when I do another uh, turn here with the key, charging stops. Yeah, and that's the uncomfortable bump here. So my right foot is in a way that when I press, I have good power and my left foot cannot go here because then the, the brake wouldn't work. I couldn't brake, so I have to put it here. But this is way further in my direction here, this bump. And so my knee is, is, is like this, that's totally uncomfortable. So I have to do it like this. Uh. Aha! We, it's 10.52, that means uh, we drove three hours and we done 100 and, it was 177 kilometers when it switched to that, so around that. So we are approximately still at the same speed, so 60 kilometers an hour, including charging. Almost at 200 kilometers. Let's look. Ooh. I'm driving like a drunken person. <laughs> 199 and 200 kilometers and it is 11 o'clock and 7 minutes. So that's 3 hours and 15 minutes. I 
arrived here with, uh, what was it, 30% or so. And um, I will now only go a few kilometers. What's interesting here is that this charger here doesn't have the cable. I had to use the cable from the car. It's an EMBW charger and it only can do 22 kilowatt, but that's what the car can do, so it's fine. And I will now go in this direction, 35 kilometers, and hopefully get an exit, turn back, and then charge on the other side. And then we did our 250 kilometers, so on the turnaround point. And I can leave now anyways, because I'm at 100 kilometers. Let's go. That was stressful, so I drove past the 250 kilometer mark and then I noticed that the next exit from the highway and then back to the charger is more than the car had range. So I slowed down and I thought it's fine. Then I saw I only have six kilometers of margin. <laughs> uh, and then it was five and so okay, when I go to the exit it says there's charging. So I went out of the exit in Geiselwind, there's a, an Autohof and there was charging, but only superchargers and CCS charging, four of them, Eon chargers, so 350 kilowatt charging. This one can do that. <laughs> no type 2 charger. So, <laughs> on the way back, I was looking for type 2 chargers, the, the, the live stream helped me, and then we got here to a Volkswagen dealership. You can see here. And there's a, a, a Skoda dealership back there, and then here's the charger, and it even shows charging speed. And it worked with the EMBW card, that's good. And we're charging with 22.2 kilowatt. Well, this is what comes from the charger, I don't know how much goes in there. So we'll charge a bit, and then the rest will be highway gas station again. All the, all the, the, the charging stations that we've already been, but oof! because what if the chargers don't work here, you know, <laughs> that happens. And I was at 9% when I came in and, and it didn't even show me range anymore. 9% at a 22 kilowatt, uh, 21 kilowatt hour battery is not a lot. <laughs> it's really not a lot. And so that was stressful. Eh. But we made it. It's good. And the live stream hurt me getting stressed and stressed and I swore and... <laughs> the next charger uh, was no problem of course uh, this is the same charger that I this is the charger where I originally wanted to go without the Volkswagen dealer charger and charge 200 kilometers of range and then we go to the one I've been before so we're going all the way back yeah I'm sure I lost 15 20 minutes with the charging looking and range anxiety and everything <laughs> yeah still okay Yeah, I left the charger again and can finally drive the, uh, the, the 94, that's good, 320 kilometers after 6 hours, that's a bit slower but again I lost a bit, let's go through the stats, this is my overall kilometer, 70, 72 kilometers an hour is my average speed. I'm using 11 kilowatt right now and 134 watt hours per kilometer is my average consumption. Heat is off, AC is off, 20 degrees. Yeah, I'm, I'm charging 
now here at uh, 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 Neumarkt again and it's warm and it's busy up there and I have to charge a bit more because I want to go. Oh, there's a plane. Uh, I've never seen a plane before. I thought the next stop is in Straubing and then seven, seven, and then 20 kilometers after that we, did the, we do the 500. We are, we're there. Um, so I have to charge a bit longer here. Almost an hour. Maybe 40, 45, 50 minutes, something like this. And I brought the live stream here. <laughs> I think I'm 360 kilometers or so. Yes. And the next stop is in 115 kilometers, so I charge to 135, 140. Something like this. Maybe I have to slow down, we'll see. Oh, where are we? What, is, what time is it? Six hours and 17 minutes. Yeah, but I deduct with 15 minutes for the for the stupid thing. So let's say six hours now in 360 kilometers. So we would still be at the 60 kilometers an hour every speed. <laughs> and I want to continue that. I'm on my way again. I changed my mind. I'm going to Regensburg where I was before. And then after that I charge again for the last time in Straubing. Almost 370 kilometers. Yeah go a bit down here. Let's go through the stats. 136 is my average consumption, so 136 watt hours per kilometer. What else do we have? Yeah, my average speed is 73, but it was driving. Yeah. And I'm using 20 kilowatt right now, 19. So this is my thing. Another 130 kilometers to go, but I have to charge in Regensburg and then maybe I charge in, in, in Hengersberg then I can do the 500 kilometers earlier, not in Straubing because then the 500 kilometers is right before Straubing. Maybe I do that. It's very possible. Almost at 400 kilometers. There we go, 400 kilometers, and I drove. Oh my God, seven hours and 20 minutes, something like this. <laughs> but again, 50 minutes gone. Oh man, I'm here in Regensburg again, where I was this morning and charging 205 kilometers of range and I go to Hengersberg and then we should have done the 500 uh, kilometers because it's only 65 to go but in 75 is Hengersberg and then I charge to get home just a few kilometers, I think 50 or 60, whatever um, and the charger just stopped so it charged for a minute and then it just stopped and it was red and I was like, oh my god, the charger doesn't work now but it reset itself after a few seconds and now it's working again. Oh. All fine. Oh, I can't show you any stats. can only show you 18% and 35 kilometers of range. I'm on my way again. So it was the last charging stop in Regensburg. Uh, I helped a guy who had an ID3 and he wanted to charge at the Allego 350 kilowatt chargers. I helped him because that charger didn't work. He had to use a different charger because his, his card and whatever all didn't work. He's charging with the Wii Charge card. He's getting an ID4. He just had the ID3 just for a short time. God, it will be expensive. I'm pretty sure over 70 uh, cent per kilowatt hour with the Wii Charge card on, on, on the Allego 350. 
So another 55 kilometers, it's 65 to the charger, so we'll make it in that leg. That's good. And if I see that I have enough range, I will speed up. And what, what time is it? It's 4.22, so that is eight and a half hours. 400 meters. Two hundred and five hundred kilometers in nine hours and eight minutes. Well, approximately. <laughs> I, I really don't know. It could be way, way less. Uh, like I said, I did a few. I made a few mistakes and who knows if the, the car is under-reporting, over-reporting, I don't know. This was not the, the main thing. But 9 hours to drive 500 kilometers, do you want to do that? <laughs> That's the question. But I will now go to the Georgia, 10 kilometers to the Georgia, I have 26 kilometers of range. Uh, uh, I did it. And, and you have to think, I drove to the highway before I even started the whole drive. But we did 500 kilometers on the highway, took na over nine hours. But you know, we, I already talked about everything. I'm now charging totally crooked be beside this ID3 because the triple chargers, you can charge AC and DC at the same time. Just one DC and then the, the AC and the, the cable barely fit. <laughs> you know, if you can see that. Um, but charging now to 55 kilometers or so, and then I go home and then uh, it was a long day. I mean, nine, nine hours with my ID3, nine hours, I can drive, if I don't rush, 800, 900 kilometers, I would say 850, depending on the last stretch, how, how, with what percentage I arrive. And with a Model 3, you can drive almost 1,000 kilometers. In, in, well, you, in, in, in Germany, you can drive, I'm pretty sure, nine, a thousand kilometers in nine hours. But again, this is a Twingo, it's a city car. I wanted to test if it's okay to do that. And the result is, if you need to do that, if this is your only car and once a year you have to go 500 kilometers, you can do it. It's okay, it's not fun, but it's okay. You don't need another car to go that, uh, this, to do that trip. I think it's it's okay. It's not the most comfortable seats. It's not amazingly quiet in there, even at 90 kilometers an hour. But it's okay. You can drive. It's fine. It charges okay with the 22 kilowatt. Yeah, of course, it charge slower, so it's fine. It, it 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 brings you to your destination. I have to say, and and so if it's just once a year, it's okay. I wouldn't do that more often. One charge in between when you have to go, I don't know, so 250 kilometers or so. If you charge in between half an hour and then go on, that's, that's easier to do and, and more comfortable. But nine hours in the car, I mean, I wasn't in the car the whole time, but still. Oh, and I charged eight times. I will put all the numbers here, how many kilowatt hours I charge, how much it costs, how often I charge and everything, because I can think right now. I have a bit of a headache, I want to get home. <laughs> I don't eat enough when I do those tests. I'm always stupid. You know me, I'm all excited. And, ooh. Yeah, but that's it. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Trip from hell. <laughs> Bye.